Once upon a time, my classmates and I were at school. We colored again as we didn't listen to each other. One day, a rich nobleman arrived at the village. He was extremely rich, so all the villagers decided that he was a wise man. They blindly believed and followed him. Really, that man wasn't a good one, he was a con man, and released that all the scams would work out here. It was a minute that one of my classmates, let's call her A, is very responsible and at test. She enjoys getting only good and excellent marks. And she always does her homework. Moreover, she wants all of us to be disciplined and diligent. Her parents are also very hardworking people. Today he is best known for his early contributions to the study of cancer immunotherapy. Collie worked in a cancer hospital in New York when the world didn't know about chemotherapy. During his work, he noticed that patients with bacterial infection were more likely to be cured than healthy ones. My classmates are very good guys. Uh, some guys I enjoy it in sports, swimming, uh, gymnastics, boxing, and mountain skiing. Uh, other classmates uh, spending their free time on internet playing computer games. The most important for me is that fact that they kept their friendship and good relationship after graduating the license. They kept on meeting every year. I hope my classmates and I will also become good friends and have the desire to meet and communicate when we become grown up. The old wise woman said that he's stupid and he got the, uh, the name Stupid Rich. But Regent didn't know about it because he hadn't uh, a talk with no one. This story takes place far far away from the metropolis, where people worship thousands of gods, walk in gifts of nature, not know what were cities, countries, not to mention new technologies. He had the voice of an angel. The whole village gathered every Sunday evening to hear him sing in the church. His beautiful voice would soar directly to heaven. Everyone was practically searching for their name, colliding with each other, pushing around others, and there was utter chaos. At the end of six minutes, no one could find their own balloon. Alex closed his eyes. Yes, there he was again. He was surrounded by clouds and all strange creatures he had drawn in his book. So he turned around. He was an island, filled with big playgrounds, huge houses and many of beautiful flowers. If I want a new phone, my parents buy me the latest model. If I want a new job, my parents buy me the most majestic doll in the world. One day I was sitting down on a large bed when I fell asleep. Is there was one thing missing from my life? Something millions of dollars couldn't buy. Happiness. We experience like idiots because of the 3D effect and got cloudy because it completely took us by surprise. Our hair and legs moved rapidly. She repeated, I thought so too. I wish the poor could happen with all this so soon. Many of my classmates had their pets in their room while online lessons. One student's cat was so big and fat, we could hardly see the student. He didn't realize that his microphone wasn't muted and started talking to his cat. Oh dear. It went something like this. You dumb a beast cat! You just sit there and eat all day. You don't even do a thing for us. Uh-oh. Now listen to me. Listen to me attentively. Children and adults, parents and siblings, listen to what I am saying. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. So, as Charles Dickens said, I am also saying. It was the season of light, 
It was the season of darkness. Every age had its own fools, and every age had its own wise men. 